You're watching WTV News, live on Wartburg Television, from the Grant Price Studio. Breaking news, local coverage, and sports. This is WTV News. This is your WTV News web update for the Wartburg Circuit. I'm Alex Geisens. The Wartburg Engineering Department received a $1 million donation last week. This donation, given by Gary and Donna Hoover, will help fund engineering science programs. The donation will also go towards creating an endowed distinguished professorship in the department, which will be held by Dr. Daniel Black. We're just really grateful to Gary and Donna I mean, for the support that they've given to the college over the, over the years. And uh, this is just one more um, piece of, of evidence of the degree of commitment that they have to higher ed and to helping people um, who, are, who have career goals. Wordbrook Sustainability has teamed up with U-Haul, not just to benefit students, but the Waverly community as well. Wordbrook's on-campus U-Haul car share program is open to anyone over the age of 18 with a valid credit card and driver's license. This year, U-Haul is waiving the $25 activation fee, so everyone in the Waverly community is encouraged to use the program. Sustainability hopes people using the cars will carpool in efforts to reduce the carbon footprint. If you participate in the U-Haul car share program, then you've got a car that's right here, it's cleaned off, it's ready to go, it's running, the insurance is covered, the gas is in it, and the coverage or the fee covers all of those things. So you can just get in and go. Two interesting cases were reported to Wardbrook Security last week involving the water fountain and the letter D. Maintenance reported the letter D in the Walston Hoover Stadium sign missing from the press box last week. They don't know why it was taken, but it was replaced in time for the homecoming football game. The fountain was also damaged, but people, security thinks it might have been an accident. They're also against having security cameras on campus. Uh, I think that um, as far as the fountain, it would not deter activity, because I think a lot of times alcohols, the reason that people get into the fountain uh, and the last thing they're going to think about is, oh, I can't mess with the fountain because the, there's them on the camera. October 11th marks a day to promote the LGBT community to live life openly. WTV's Caitlin Harbeck tells a story of one couple that wants people to know why coming out is still important. First year, Jania yeah, Lee recalls when she first told yeah. her mom that she was a lesbian. We were on our way home on a bus okay. and I just decided to tell her. It was just random. I got tired of hiding things from her. I love my mom and I want her to accept me for who I am. Lee told her story in front of a large crowd on this year's Coming Out panel, hosted by Warburg Alliance Tuesday night. Sitting along beside Lee was her girlfriend, Warburg first year, Destiny Davis. The Chicago natives first met nearly two years ago in high school. I said, dear little bit, that's what I called her when we first got together, because she's so little. You're the only thing on my mind. I could decide whether to write a letter, a poem, or a song, but I just decided to free write to you. Davis has been out for almost three years while Lee has been out for only a year. After getting involved in Alliance this fall, the two decided to tell their story together. I really want people to understand that ignorance kills. We're human and just like any other human, you want to be cared about by somebody and this is something that we need more supporters of and need more people to help us with. While the couple says they do feel accepted at Wartburg, Lee says the process hasn't been easy for her. Lee plans to come up to her father in a letter, but isn't sure when she will write it. I want to think that he's clueless. Parents know without you even knowing that they know. After speaking on the panel, Davis hopes their story will influence others to live life openly and be happy. Um, coming out gives you a new outlook on things. It, it makes you more confident and more comfortable. Having secrets can kind of show to you, but when you start to express that and let things out and people accept it, um, you're more willing to just be yourself. At the end of the day, it's the most important thing that matters. Reporting for WTV News, I'm Caitlin Harbeck. This has been your WTV News Web Update. Thank you for watching.